One would expect that the capital city of a state like Ugu would have all the basic amenities befitting a modern metropolis. But the La Fenwa roundabout in Abeokuta has been in a state of disrepair for many years now. Residents who spoke to TVC News' Sarah Ayeku are seeking the immediate attention of the governor, Dakwa Biodu. It was and still remains a major concern for residents and commuters along the Lafenwa Rounder Road on the outskirts of Abeokuta, the capital city of Ogun State. For years, the busy six-kilometer road had been in a state of disrepair, stifling economic activities and endangering the lives of commuters on a daily basis. <laughs> As part of its civil military palliative of Operation Crocodile Smell exercise, men and officers of the 35 Artillery Brigade embarked on a rehabilitative work. Even after this rehabilitative work being done by the army, the road still leaves much to be desired. The road has been so bad, it is the reason Kendi Oriowo, a motorcyclist, makes regular stops at the hospital to get treatment for his ailment. <laughs> Meters away from around the junction lies the gateway to Abeokuta. The Ayedade Ayeto Road to Igbora or your state is an eyesore. It is a major route used by transporters and farmers to gain access into Abeokuta. What you see is a palliative work done by locals. There is little they can do to improve their situation. The road was constructed in the 1970s, and since then, no maintenance has been done to keep it in good shape. This road generates so much money on a weekly, daily, monthly basis to both state and federal government's revenue posts. So I really wish if the government can do something tangible, because most of the food we consume within this axis, if even Lagos, Gari, cassava, pepe, tomato, they are all coming in from this axis. This road uh, means a lot uh, to the economic development of this community. It's more or less boundary to, to this state, open state here. So we want the road to be fixed so that we can enjoy it. Motorists use the steep alternative to avoid sinking into the large portals carved by water trapped below the surface. As an HSC professional, Victor is concerned the dust-filled atmosphere could be a silent killer for unsuspecting persons. Almost everyone plying that road now uses a nose mask to shield themselves from harm. Their plea is simple and clear. They want the state government, led by Mr. Dakwa Biodun, to collaborate with the federal government and fix their roads as soon as possible. Sarah Ayeku, TVC News.